Hello friends, welcome to the another video of this key clock series. So today I'm going to come up with a new feature. So please stay till the end uh, so that you can fully understand what the feature is. So let's suppose we have a website or we can say any website which is supported by key clock. I mean the user credentials or authentications is supported by key clock and, uh, and the customer or reported an issue that he cannot place an order. So let's suppose it's an e-commerce website, okay? And a customer is reporting that uh, we cannot uh, place an order. So, so what we will do? So we have to see what is the problem. So we have to see the log or uh, or any other thing. Or we have to actually find the problem. What is happening? It. So normally, what happens? It it comes to it uh, the issue comes to the QA and uh, let's suppose the QA cannot uh, replicate it and for the QA uh, mostly we we will have some uh, test accounts for the production environment and let's suppose we cannot uh, replicate it means like in the uh, means like QA cannot replicate what is why the issue is happening for the user means like for QA user it is working fine in broad and on the QA environment also it is working fine so what is the solution means like how can we replicate this how to find a problem for the user and and for the user we don't have a user credential so how to check what is the problem uh, the user is happening so the solution for this is user impersonation okay so what actually is user impersonation so user impersonation is a in key clock allow an administrator or a privileged user to log in as a another user without needing their credential so what i mean to say is like uh, in a key clock we have a feature that uh, admin can log in on behalf of someone else someone else user means like uh, so what the user is needing is the access token so admin can generate an access token on behalf of an user and if we have a user access token and uh, then we will we can go to the user dashboard and see why user is not able to place the order what is the problem user is facing in that way uh, we'll be able to uh, debug the problem and fix the problem so altogether why it is needed it's like uh, we can see it is for debugging for providing support and testing user specific permissions so this is the reason why user impersonation is needed so as per we can see this diagram it's like a user is connecting to key clock and admin is also connecting to key clock and admin is impersonating the key clock so this is uh, this is a very simple way means like uh, I have tried to explain how uh, user impersonation works so in this diagram we can see the flow so first is like uh, admin will select an user the, the user which is facing the problem second he will try to authenticate with a key clock okay so and the third he will get the user access token so this is all together I will explain in detail okay the first step is select the user which is facing a problem second is authenticate with the key clock and uh, third step we will get the user access token the fourth is admin uh, logged in as a user <coughs> to the user dashboard okay so this is the simple flow I have tried to explain although I will show it in a postman request so these are the uh, uh, parameters are required client ID the client ID which has the, the client which has an impersonate role so this I will explain in a key clock client secret grant type this is the grant type which is required this is the subject token okay again I will explain and this is a requested subject this is the user id to whom we want to impersonate okay so this is all about the theoretical uh, concept now let's move on to the key clock and see how 
the things we will do okay so this is the key clock uh, we can see uh, this is the uh, key clock 26 so that is one ream i have customer ream i have created it and before that i want to show a uh, very important thing without that it will not work we can go to master ream and we can go to provide a uh, server info so here the token exchange it is a preview feature we have to enable it so uh, if we start the key clock server without uh, uh, enabling this uh, token exchange uh, feature then this will not work so we have to enable this then only it will work okay so this is the very important step we have to do okay and the second step is like uh, this is very simple uh, i have created one uh, customer uh, ream so in that i have created uh, Two clients so one is the customer client so this is a public client okay and standard flow is enabled direct access grant is enabled okay although uh, this does not concern but again uh, we have just created it and the second client we have created is admin operation okay so this is for uh, this is uh, confidential client so that's why we have a credential here we can see here client author authentication is enabled so that means it is a uh, confidential client okay and this is the client we will use to generate access token of an user so here we need to come to service account role here we need to add impersonation role to this client okay so this is the second step important step we have to do it and let's suppose this is a user test at the rate test.com and this is the id of a client okay and username email is same and the credential i have kept it like this okay and uh, i will show you on jwt.io also okay and uh, i don't have a website so that i will explain with everything with the postman because ultimately uh, for the user for the website uh, for any user to work it need to generate an access token okay so we will see this example by generating an access token okay so all together customer is the ream and two clients i have created one is a customer client this is a public client and another one is the uh, confidential client okay so let's uh, open uh, this one okay so this is the access token of a user so here i can see that this is a customer uh, ream client id customer password uh, it is pa grant type password password is one two three four although i have kept it very simple username is test at the rate so we'll try to generate the access token so we can see the access token is generated we will see we'll copy it and uh, we'll see here okay yes we can see this is uh, uh it is generated just now okay and this is you can see it is a uh, email is test at the rate test.com so that it is a user uh, uh, token okay now uh now we will again go to postman okay and uh, this is the admin token okay this is for the admin operation client credential password is not required i am deleting it and this is the client secret so now i am generating one access token from admin operation okay and we can see here this is the token i have generated it i will show it in the jwt.io again okay you can see this is a service account role for the admin operation okay so why it is required i will tell you okay now i'm saving it here okay although and now we will try to generate uh, the access token of a user so here everything a token exchange endpoint is same client id is admin operation grant type this is the one what i have showed it okay and this is the client secret 
client secret of this client id subject token so subject token is nothing but your uh, uh, this is the sec, uh, ad, for the admin operation this is the access token i have generated it so on the subject token i need to give this token okay and a requested subject so requested subject is the user id of a user okay so here we will go search the user and this is the id of the user which i want to generate a token okay and let's go okay you can see now access token has been generated again and we will see check the token okay yes we can see again here the this is the user token user uh, uh, for the test at the rate test.com a user token is generated with the help of token exchange and we can see some admin operations also here uh, if you want to see some events okay okay i have not enabled it so that's why uh, it is uh, turned off so we cannot see it else uh, we should be uh, we should have seen this here okay so in this way with the help of token exchange feature we can generate any user any user uh, uh, i mean uh, access token to to debug what is happening uh, what has happened and why means like we why as a qa or a uh, team we are not able to replicate in this way we can log in as a user account and uh, we can check means like, although we cannot do any any operation like uh, placing an user or uh, checking some uh, uh, some uh, credit card or any specific uh, thing which we cannot do it but this is very uh, risky operation meant like uh, and that's why that's why this client is a uh, is a confidential client and meant like uh, everyone should not have access to this and uh, and this feature should be enabled and the service account roles impersonation role is also required for this uh, because i have seen this meant like a uh, suppose a customer support operation uh, suppose there is a customer support operation team is there and uh, th sometimes they have a impersonation role so that uh, th if any client logs any user that uh, i cannot do this operation or i cannot see an order or any any issue and uh, and this type of feature helps customer support team to quickly check and resolve the issue and if there is some major issue definitely it will come to the l1 or l2 team uh, to fix it but with this uh, user with this feature meant like a customer support professional uh, can easily log in to the customer account and they can check it but obviously they cannot do they should not perform any uh, critical operation which is uh, which is not intended to do okay so this is all about uh, uh, key clock uh, user impersonation tool and uh, in my next video i'm going to come up with some uh, another uh, new feature so please uh, if you like the video please uh, like share and subscribe and till then uh, goodbye and uh, see you on the next video